I kind of think about alcohol like scuba diving. I'm not into scuba diving. I never really think about scuba diving. Occasionally when I take my son down to the beach, I see scuba divers and I'm like, oh, scuba divers, that's weird. You, you raise an important point, I think, that we feel like we are screwed up and we've got this secret in this dark life and we look outside and everybody else seems to be handling it and drinking moderately and, you know, being these incredible unicorns that can only have one or whatever. But the reality is people are also looking at us in that way. I, I know a lot of people were concerned about that. And, and I just have not felt that way at all. Um, I have almost taken and felt the opposite. Like, and I don't know if that's different for me than other people, but I, and, and it feels amazing that I feel bad for the people who are drinking and I don't internalize <clears throat> or feel anything where I feel like I'm missing out or, you know, if someone else feels like I'm the one with the problem, I don't feel that way at all. I feel like they're all missing out. And it's been amazing because I've been in situations where other people are drinking and, and I just am not uncomfortable at all. And it's kind of funny. I was on a train uh, to down to Olympia where Dana lives and, and it was great. I was avoiding traffic, just found out that I can take the Amtrak down there. And, and it's so relaxing because sitting in the car for that hour and a half drive with tons of traffic, it's really stressful. And I was just sitting in the cabin and I went to the bar car to get a, you know, a coffee. And, and as I walked up, there were two people in front of me who didn't know each other and they were ordering drinks and they were so excited about ordering drinks. And, and I was just like, man, I feel so sorry for them. And, and I don't feel like I'm missing out at all. And I was just like, wow, they are, they are, you know, choosing to do something that um, is really unfortunate. And, and it's, and, and that's that same kind of scenario has happened multiple times for me. And um, I remember a couple of the folks saying they wish they could get to the point where Victoria once said she walked down the aisles of, uh, of this grocery store and, and saw the alcohol and was almost disgusted. And, and I walked down the aisles of the alcohol and I'm just kind of laugh at it now. I just kind of joke with myself about how silly it is that I was there every day. Right. So true. For people, you know, when they talk like that, that's the association with alcohol is completely done a backflip. So that that's the rewiring of the neural pathways in real life. It's like that initial connection with alcohol was fun and relaxation and everything else. And to trans transform that into alcohol and disgust is a pretty powerful shift. Yeah, it's kind of funny. I was thinking through how I think of alcohol now and I kind of think about alcohol like scuba diving. Like I'm not into scuba diving. I never really think about scuba diving. Uh, occasionally when I take my son down to the beach, I see scuba divers and I'm like, oh, scuba divers, that's weird. You know, <laughs> I, I never really think about it. I think scuba divers are a little weird, people that do that. Uh, and you know, I think it's a little dangerous and then I never think about it again. That's an excellent, excellent visual for me. Yeah, it's funny how, it, I, I don't know how it came up. It was just one day I was thinking about drinking because of the situation of it just becoming a thing that's, it never even comes up for me. And, and that kind of visualization just popped in my head one day. Yeah, that's wonderful. I love that. So I'm going to ask you a question about missing out because you said, I, I feel like I'm not missing out. So what do you think people miss out on that are drinking? Or what yeah. do you know? Yeah, I think the, the thing that um, missing out on is that, um, you know, the freedom to to have you know to live a life and be so comfortable with yourself that you don't need alcohol and you know I think even the folks that are may, maybe casually drinking but still getting tipsy from time to time but never get to a point where they're you know binge drinking at home alone but they are 
you know, having enough drinks to, to get a little tipsy. Um, it's just, you know, there's, there's no need for it. And there's something that right now, whenever I feel like I'm in a situation where, you know, people are drinking, I enjoy the peace of not needing a drink and not feeling peer pressure. And also, you know, even though it's just having a few drinks, I've spoken to a number of folks that are friends that drink casually and they maybe only have one or two drinks and they're in their forties now and and they feel exhausted the next day, even after just a couple of drinks. And so I think, you know, even if it's just a small amount of alcohol that people are drinking, it's still having a big effect that people don't realize because I think they have two or three drinks and the next day they're really tired, lack of motivation. They don't get things done that they would normally. Um, but since they feel like they're not drinking excessive, that, that, that it's not a problem. And um, yeah, but for me, it's the freedom. Um, just feeling that freedom, you know, when I'm home alone, to to do whatever I want and not have that crutch and not have that that control over me to to tell myself, you know, even when I'm sitting for a couple of hours and not drinking, and then all of a sudden I I tell myself to go to the store and 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 get that alcohol, you know, 141 days ago. Um, just having that freedom to sit back and just relax and be present and and spend the time however I want productively and sometimes not productively just doing nothing is enjoyable. Yeah, it's it's so true because when you're doing nothing and you're alcohol free, there's no guilt or shame. It's a choice. It's not because you feel terrible. It's just, I'm doing it because I want to do it or not do it. (laughs) (laughs) So missing out, is definitely that paradigm shift that people make when they quit drinking. It's like we're conditioned to believe that if we don't drink, we're missing out. And the paradigm shift is actually if you do drink, you're missing out. 